Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and we're here to take a look at Iron Snout, which is a beat-em-up by Lithuanian coders Snout Up and is published by Ratalika Games, who you might know for being a Finnish publishing house who specialise in cross-buy titles between PS4 and Vita that tend to be very cheap and usually come with very easy double platinums, which is say so you can get a platinum on the PS4 version, then load it up on your Vita and do the platinum there, and they're usually both done within less than an hour. Now what tends to make them stand out is the fact that you've usually got the platinum long before you finish the game, usually just beating one or two levels will do it. That's not the case here, and that's not because they've made the game more challenging or anything like that, but rather just the fact that there isn't really any kind of length to this game, it's just an arcade title that you kind of pick up and play. And it reminds us of the old Nintendo Game & Watch games where you're just in a single screen as you can see here, and just kind of playing through the game's main gameplay loop, which here is that you're in the middle as a pig and enemies, who are the wolves, come on from either side, left or right, and you just attack them. And what's quite nice is the way that the controls are really responsive and as you do things you might catch a weapon, be able to throw it at the next guy, dodge over an attack, duck under something and it's all just very very sort of slick you end up throwing enemies at each other and for a while it's really really good fun and that is mainly down to how responsive the controls are and indeed the control is quite flexible you only really have to go up and down with the d-pad that's your ducking and your jumping and then everything else is just attack left or attack right and you can do that using the shoulder buttons or using square and circle or even using left and right on the d-pad so it's just quite nice to have those different options and sometimes you want to go with something that feels kind of precise like the d-pad and other times you want to go with something that's just rapid attacks which are quite nice to do off of the shoulder buttons and when you are doing really well in the game, you feel kind of like you're in a bit of a flow state. Everything's just going really nicely. You're jumping over things, you're ducking under things, you're throwing things at enemies. You feel like a complete John Wick style badass, albeit a naked pig. But then, after a while, you've kind of seen everything. There's only three levels, and you'll see all of those levels here in this video. And it kind of makes you realise that actually, even though the game's very cheap, it doesn't really have the longevity to kind of keep you interested beyond getting those... Uh, trophies for the two easy platinums. So while the game is really really good fun for a little while and the visual style is kind of nice, it reminds us of an old animated comedy sort of show called Happy Tree Friends which was like a violent cartoon that was quite a lot of fun. But once you kind of get past that and the game's charm and the kind of instantly accessible sort of gameplay, after that it all starts to kind of wear very thin. And like I say, after about half an hour you've seen everything the game's got to offer and that's a real shame. So whilst it's fun and it will appeal to kind of trophy horse and Vita owners, there isn't much to recommend it unless you see this really cheap in the sale or you just really want those trophies. So our final score is a 5 out of 10 and that's kind of a nice 5, it's like it does lots of things well to get that 5 but then it just lets itself down by not really having much else to offer. Anyway, thanks for checking us out, please like and subscribe and check us out at playstationcountry.com. Cheers!